I just made this simple LED battery monitor and it's made for this type of lithium ion battery that I have here. This is like a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and what this monitor does is if the battery is good uh, above 3.6, 3.7 volt the green light stays on and if the voltage drops below 3.6, 3.5 then the yellow light comes on and the green light goes out. Actually the circuit calls for a red LED but I don't have any red LED so I just use the yellow LED. So this is the lithium ion battery and um, I'm going to show you now I have two diesel battery here okay I think you can see it um, not the voltage of the lithium ion battery and the green light will go, will go out and then the yellow light would go on I was thinking of building something like this into into this kind of gadget here so that uh, I can install a switch and if I switch it on or maybe I can even leave it on and if the battery is uh, going down uh, below 3.7 3.6 this is okay. You can see the green light is on and use it as a battery monitor. Now you can make the battery monitor and, and you don't have to mount it on a perp board and you can just twist everything together. It's a little messy but you can do it. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly how to make this battery monitor I would show everyone and the circuit let's go to the circuit first the circuit I got from uh, I think uh, is a website or ebook called Talking Electronics uh, if you google it you should find it this is the circuit down here uh, I think they call it a battery monitor and it uses a 47 ohm resistor here it goes to through a green LED and then through a 1N4148 um, diode uh, this is probably a low voltage drop diode and I don't have that so I'm going to use something else and then goes through a 1k resistor to the negative rail and you have a BC547 here and then uh, your positive rail is up here and you have another trans uh, resistor here 220 ohm and then you have the red LED here up here is a green LED, red LED BC547 transistor and you have a I'm using a 1N4007 diode um, and then you have a 220 ohm resistor, 47 ohm resistor and a 1K ohm resistor the voltage drop is uh, for the 4007 it's probably about 0.7 volt and uh, the 1N4148 that is used in the original uh, schematic is probably a uh, a shot key dial maybe a lower forward voltage drop so goes together very simple um, let's see look at the diagram look at the circuit here uh, you take the 47 ohm resistor and drop it 
no don't drop it uh, plug it into your perp board this would be your positive rail and uh, then you take your green LED the green LED with the positive side towards the uh, resistor uh, with the LED there's a flat side and there's a round side the flat side is a negative so you put your positive towards the resistor when you're there okay and what you're going to do underneath is you're going to solder this together you see here you solder the legs together okay and then you have your diode with the the band faces away from the LED okay so that's your diode Just right like that and then you have your 1k resistor and then the other end goes to the negative rail I know it's not so you connect or you solder all these together right from one to another like as in series and then okay now you plug in your uh, transistor and if you lay your transistor flat there are three legs the middle one is of course your base and you would have your collector base and the emitter there's a flat side and there's a round side you put it like that okay now you you plug your transistor in and you can bend the base towards your your diode and you connect the diode or you solder the diode uh, with the base of the LED and that's the part without the silver ring you, that's the lead that you would connect with the base of the transistor and then you add another resistor the 220 ohm one you plug it in like I said I'm putting it really spaced out so you can see you don't have to make it that way okay you plug your 220 ohm resistor in and then one lead is a positive and the other lead connects with the collector the collector of the transistor so now the last thing that you have to do is to connect your yellow or red LED again the positive towards the resistor you plug it in and the positive of the resistor you solder you solder with the resistor uh, the 220 ohm resistor and then the negative of the LED goes to your negative and then it is tied in with the with the negative rail with this resistor here to form the negative and uh, that's it that's all you have to do tie in the positive tie in the negative and that's your your circuit for your battery monitor 
is what it looks like. Uh, I didn't use the circuit board, I just twisted everything together. It's a little bit of a mess. But uh, you can do it and just put some maybe hot melt glue, squeeze everything together. Put some hot melt glue so nothing gets short, short out and then you connect your negative and positive and you would have a working um, battery monitor. Let's see here. Okay. That's it. That's your your green light.